So we're going to do three poems tonight. Uh, they're from my new book, Footsteps in the Garden, and um, they re reflect what's in the book, really, those three poems. The first is the first poem in the book, also titled Footsteps in the Garden, so it's the title program, title poem, Footsteps in the Garden. When birds go silent, chipmunks and squirrels rush to the underbrush, the wind whispers soft and goes dead quiet, leaving only a vacuum. I can feel them come, the silent footsteps along the forest path, echoing my own steps until I stop and turn, and there's nobody. On the path behind me, there's nobody at all. But somewhere back there, a single tree rustles, though there's no wind. I walk more quickly. Hurriedly walking home, I can feel someone follow, though when I turn to see, only the empty wooded path and the rustle until I turn to walk again. At home, I lock the gate, cross the garden quickly, go in and lock the door, breathe a sigh of relief, but in the silence, I hear footsteps in the garden. This is black rain. Though there's no way to confirm, they say this storm began on the other side of the world, perhaps in Fukushima or Israel, spread rapidly, wrapping everything everywhere in darkness. A squirrel has died above the ceiling tiles in the hallway outside my office. There are hundreds everywhere, huge black flies. For so long, the storm has not abated. I've lost track of the days spent under these black clouds of ash and the heavy rain they bring with them. The streets have become rivers. Only the most courageous and the foolish venture out. From the window in my office, I see bodies in the streets whenever the fire rains from the sky. Some say it's a sign from some god predicted by ancient prophets, punishment for all the evils of mankind. Others say it's our own fault, abusing the natural order with our science. It sounds the same to me. All I know is for more days than I can calculate, I've not left this campus, crawling like a rat through the tunnels to other buildings, then back to my office with what food and supplies I can scrounge. There are others too, students and other professors and university staff wandering the tunnels. I do my best to avoid them. In their eyes, there's a desperation I believe will become dangerous. Best to play it safe. <coughs> in the midst of things. In empty streets of locked doors, shuttered windows, and the dead bodies on flat beds to be buried, visions of saved souls raised up, fears of the armies of Armageddon. In our time, where is the poetry? There are wolves on the streets. Foxes roam the shores of the lake, and the man who attacked a woman in a racially motivated incident became ill and died a week later. In this dream, where are the poets? A man says, let us go then, you or I, you and I, along half deserted streets at dusk, alive with lies and metaphors, where fog becomes terrifying cats, and I can't follow a line through it, past singers busking in the shadows. A woodworker plays jazz on the porch. A deep black pool opens under me, and I dive in face down on the road, broken by the impact of this dream. Among the falling darker shadows from which I hear the angels sing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't detective me with your smiles. In this time of sad souls and eyes, tellers of tales and erstwhile legends, the new normal conspiracy theory, Sirens sing to us day and night in this time of pandemic dreams. 
From my perch high above the city, I hear more sirens sing every day, echo of death walking the streets, hear waves smash on ancient rocks, smell the stench of the river sticks, tower safely alone in this tower. Red lights break the dark like rubies, blood perhaps, not gemstones, but fluid. Life bleeds out everywhere imaginable. Still the sirens sing night and day. Come join us on the waiting rocks. Come swim with us in the river sticks. I have seen no three-headed dog, no sensual young lady singing. Have not tied myself to the mast. Don't believe in myths and sirens. Watch fire trucks and ambulances, blurs of the rear reel below my tower. Birds still sing in my garden. Flowers bloom and plants prosper. Eden at the top of the world. Squalor below distant as hell. You by me singing in the garden, sharing wine. Is paradise enough? Oasis of the gods in the clouds. Mine is the only rooftop garden. Others have the haven of balconies dropping in a line to the street. Smells of fire and smoke rise to me. Barbecue or brimstone, I wonder. Where are the poets, the truth speakers, the folk singers, authors and artists, the new prophets recording our era? Where, where is the poetry? poetry? Where, where the, the legends? legends? Where, where the heroes? Where, where the ballads? Where, where the memory the future, future needs? A postcard from South America mentions the tree of many lives, speaks of bringing in the sheaves, but there's no rejoicing. Lives cut short as harvest wheat, young fruits picked before time. This is not caution, but fear. Danger hides around every corner, walks with the wind behind you, isn't seen until you're caught, and death comes in small doses. Where can we walk that is safe? There's little talk of the light. Always the dark fills our days, a shadow over all our thoughts. Without passion or hope, then what? The light fades with the future. Where can we go that is safe? This, this is, is the, the time, time of prophecy, prophecy. Fire, fire and water and wind storms, storms rage, rage, plagues ravage every, every nation. There are there wars and rumors of war. Murder, murder is, is the greatest, greatest sacrilege. sacrilege. Relentless death stalks the earth. Seek hope where you can find it. Practice black arts if you wish. Trust magic to carry us through. And invite a friend over for wine. Wear a mask like a harem girl. In all things be safe and well. Oppenheimer feared the worst. The end of the world with a bang. The poet got it right, of course. This is the way the world ends. Cowers in the falling dark with a never-ending whimper. And my perch high above the city, I hear the soft sigh of fear. Myth climbs the tower like a cat. The silence of gray streets rises. In my garden, a cold wind blows, whispers warnings of end times. This is the cruelest death, the silence of Sunday morning, alone in this private inn. What God has brought this on? The streets below are dead. In my heart, I have died too. Am I real here in this garden? What is dream and what is not? Birdsong has left the garden. Apples are no longer tempting. The woman may have been a dream. A serpent has fled into darkness. Music smoke floats up from mist below. Frail songs of sirens that wake me. Fog bound buskers, perhaps, after all. Saxophones softened by concrete walls. Hollow echoes of a distant piper. A woman casting her spell in song. Where, Where are the, the poets, poets, the truth speakers, the folk, folk singers, authors and artists, the new prophets, prophets recording our era? Where is the poetry? Where are the legends? Where the heroes, where the ballads, where the memory of the future needs. My home and garden float on the mist. The tower fades away in dawn's glow. I expect Arthur's knights may appear, ghosts out of the mist around me. 
the woman sings a song from below. Life is but a dream, shaboom, shaboom. Mist sets damp on the flowers, on me in my garden alone. Still her voice pulls me away, her voice soft as morning mist. Join me here on the waiting rocks, swim with me in the river Styx. It's different inside the house, woken from a never-ending dream, world without end beyond this door, indoor echoes of a past life. Home has become a fragile thing. I cling for fear of falling off. Matryoshka worlds within worlds, this dollhouse at the center, each room just like the others, each room empty even when full, empty worlds fade as night falls, a vision seen through the mist. How long since the stream dried up? Windows on the world gone blank, watchful eyes closed or blinded. The system is down and out, radio silent and dead air. Even indoors, I taste the death. I am the master of the mists, sitting on top of the world, a small oasis in the clouds. Unlike the statue in the desert, I am not yet crumbled and gone. My world vanished in the mist. There are rabbits on the lawns, coons roam the streets night and day, bats and rats and alley cats, wild things are taking the city. I see them whenever the mist clears. In, In all this, this where's, where's the poetry? The sun shines down this tower, one vacant balcony to the next, ladder to the streets below. My domain, a world without life, wild things and the dead on flatbeds. In, in this, this dream, dream where, where are the, the poets? Prophets? Going to hell is a practical thing. The elevator no longer works. Our electric went down long ago. There's rubble in the stairways. This tower is a wretched wasteland. The only way down is to jump. Through this mist, I don't see the sun. Yet the light seeps through the net. Sunlight is trapped in rooftop panels. The tower has gone dark without power, rising above the dark streets below. Home, a shining beacon in the sky. Where, Where are the, the poets, poets, the truth speakers, speakers the, the folk singers, singers the authors, authors and artists, the, the new prophets recording our era? Where, Where is the poetry? Where are the legends? Where are the heroes? Where are the ballads? Where are the memory the future needs? Looking at the dark streets below, I am God up here in my small heaven. Above, I see only black nothing. I'm a speck, waiting some rough beast, slouching down this infinite well. Across my garden, as shadows fall. What shall be left for me, I wonder, when the gatherer comes to my door? Shall he carry cross or sickle? Shall he come in black or white? Will he take me down the elevator? Will I rise in passion skyward? We dig and find ancient cultures famed for their beauty and wisdom. What will the future find of us? Death, perhaps, and erased peoples. Even Pompeii streets bore life. In, In the, the end, end, what will, will we, we have, have left? left? My worst fears are imagined. A movement not seen but sensed. A footfall or a creaking door. Threatening voices on the wind. Danger hiding in the shadows. Mine has become a shadow world. I walk through the garden alone. An uneasy wind whispers threats. Shadows follow along the walls. Who walks with me in the garden? The elevator no longer works. The, the only, only way, way down, out, out is down. down. I stand just at the edge of light. Night's ink fills the city streets. Stars are set in a dark blue sky. So long now since I've seen stars, hid always by never-ending mist. Behind me, the shadows remain. Dawn comes over me slow and soft. Mist curtains the, the sky once more. Shades of night skulk in corners. There is a sense of butterflies. Thoughts of birdsong left unheard. 
a life lived and lost so long ago. The song says life is but a dream. If this is a dream, shall I wait? Will the world be as before? Will there be butterflies and birds? Will there be no shadows following? It comes down to, to what, what is, is real. real. I loved a girl so long ago in fields of summer glory, walked hand in hand, side by side, shared dreams through starlit nights till the shadows brought her death. End of our dream, end of my life. Long forgotten in the mist, precious memories come. Woman I loved too long ago, home and children in the city, a peaceful cabin in the woods. I hear myself say, fade to black. Praise to the poets, the truth speakers, the folk singers, the authors, the artists, the new prophets recording our era. This is the poetry, the legends, the ballads, the stories. This is the memory the future needs. A canoe along the lake shore. She waves from the cabin dock. Boy and girl wade in the water. Feels good to be coming home. Memory fades into the mist. In my hand, I feel the paddle. There's floods in the streets below. On sidewalks, otters play games. In deep waters, large carp swim. Beavers gather debris for lodges. Somewhere, I hear a woman singing. On this tower, there's only rain. The siren song calls me home. Falling rain deepens the mist. Even my garden is growing dark. Shadows patrol garden paths. Images from a past fade away. Will this dark rain never stop? The man says, let us go then along half deserted streets, alive with lies and metaphors, where fog becomes terrifying, and I can't find my way through it, though I hear the sirens sing. I long for all this to end, to follow a song into the mist, the welcoming arms of the dark, a home outside this nightmare, world of fears and shadows, to sleep perhaps forever. Sleep comes to me like drowning, drawn into deeper waters, the song of the woman calling. Meet me where the fairy meets. Come swim with me in the river. Oh, she draws me under and I drown. A current soothes and carries me beyond dark waters of nightmare into the river Leith and sleep. A drift between time and memory. The song again raising me up from the dark into the light. A soft scent of warm earth, a chorus of birds singing, morning and the sun shining, warmth on my eyes waking me where I slept under a tree, not a cloud dark overhead. A field of summer glory, wildflowers in the sunshine, prairie grasses and blue sky, a girl I loved from long ago walking slowly toward me. And I walk, then run to her. They say life is like a dream. We meet in slow motion like that. She holds me close and I hold her. Without talk, we share our thoughts of home and life with each other. Walk hand in hand into the mist. Praise, Praise to, to the, the poets, poets, the truth speakers, the folk singers, the authors and artists, the, the new, new prophets, prophets recording our era. This is the poetry, these the legends, these the ballads, these the stories. This is the memory the future needs.